some of the most common questions and feedback I get is Cameron, I don't want to do all of the site modeling and create a 3D image. I just want to know which modules to put with which optimizers. How do I do that? So that's fairly easy to do. So let's just go back to our design list and let's say you're taking a call from a customer and I'm in Roseville. So someone's going to say, hey, I want to know uh, which modules to do in Denver, Colorado. My site is in Denver, Colorado. So I'm going to say Denver, Colorado. And instead of putting an address, I could put an address, but I'm just going to say Denver, Colorado. Okay. And it's just going to drive me in the middle of the street. Fantastic. It doesn't matter because the weather data is all I'm interested in, right? So I'm going to click create. And so for site modeling, I'm just gonna draw a big square. <laughs> there we go. I'm gonna just draw a big square, oops. And say, yep, I'm gonna put some modules inside the square. I don't even have to worry about 90 degree angles. That looks more like a rhombus. All right, then I'm gonna go to PV module placement. I'm just gonna say, okay, which modules do I like to use? I like to use uh, Silfab. Great, Silfab. And I like to use the, the 320s, fantastic. I'm gonna click apply. I'll just put some Silfab modules in there. Great, electrical design. And now I know that I can use with those modules, the Silfab 320s in Denver, Colorado, I can use the 370, 400, 405, or 505. It takes 30 seconds to do this. For additional information and access to more in-depth tutorials, go to solaredge.com, select login and e-learning to get access to the library of SolarEdge learning materials.